ceremony. If you are the winner of the award, first please come up here. We'll give you a chance to speak. And then we're going to go stand in front of the Fiesta sign and get your picture taken for the newspaper. So it'll be recorded forever. So, check, it, check, it, check your makeup real quick before you go up there. All right, we'll get started. You ready to go, Jonathan? Well, again, folks, not only welcome to tonight's banquet, but thank you. It's just fantastic to have this turnout, to have this crowd. Here, everybody having so much fun. Um, what a fantastic meal and service by the Country Club. Should give them a round of applause for you. It was a fantastic job. And this is already our annual event where we get together to celebrate success. The success of our business community, the success of our county, and it's all because of everybody who's sitting here. Without our memberships, without our supporters on the municipal side and on the county side, we would not be able to do what we do. So again, we thank you, we appreciate you, and um, just can't thank, you, can't thank you enough. Another key reason why we can do what we do is our board of directors. So I'm gonna introduce our board. Um, first of all, I'll get Jeff, because he's out here waiting to get pictures taken with winter. So Jeff Sudholm, if you wanna come in and wave real quick. President Steve Anderson. Our Vice President Jay Osborne. Our Treasurer Jarvis Manja. And our other board members, Janet Buman. Steve Cagle. considering next time when we come up to another, another board election, uh, putting your name in, we, we really want to have as much, not only representation, but as widespread as possible. So, you know, we'd like to have members on our board from every community in Shelby County if we could do something like that. So, next time you see the announcement that we're looking for board members, please feel free to throw your name in, and, uh, and I think you'll enjoy it. It's, it. We don't do a, you know, we don't make it stressful at all. It's, it's actually a good board to be on. The staff members, of course, got to introduce them. Ms. Debbie Stendrup. And now, now we all know her job title, right? And then there's Ms. Carol McKeel. So, as you can imagine, with a staff our size and the things that we try to do, I mean, they're amazing. All right, on to the awards. Start with the nonprofit business of the year. And that's one of the things that Shelby County is blessed with, with is our wide ranging efforts of our nonprofit organizations. Think about the things they dedicate support, services, and tireless, tireless efforts to. There's a lot of things that our nonprofits provide for us in our day to day lives that if we had to actually pay a service, pay a business, pay an organization to do it, it'd be very hard to do. But they volunteer, they offer their time. They make sure that we have either events to attend, they make sure that we have, you know, exhibits that we can attend to teach us about our health, to teach us about our children. I mean, it's just wonderful, all of the things. If you look at the calendar out on exploreshelbycounty.com, every week there's some type of nonprofit presenting some type of a, something for families to do or learning experiences. It's really amazing around here. Each year, you know, we take a lot of pride in our strong student-based programs, our commitment to our agricultural heritage, and our small town feel. Each year, the Shelby County Fair Corporation brings all of this together to provide excellence to the Shelby County community. This group of volunteers touches our lives in so many ways across the board, and the key is the humble pride they take when they do their hard work. Hard work, creativity, and forward-looking vision 
truly impacts the ability of our community to, to progress and the impact they provide to us here in Shelby County. So in recognition of their efforts, it is our honor to present the Shelby County Fair Corporation with this year's Nonprofit Business of the Year Award. Unfortunately, I'm not completely we had a representative from the fair board here tonight, but uh, uh, we'll make sure that they know everybody applauded when we announced it. So now we're going to move on to our new chamber member of the year. And what's great about new chamber member of the year are these are individuals who have a desire and a vision to start a new business. New business growth is key to us here in Shelby County. It keeps our communities moving forward and it makes them stronger and thrive. These risk takers are the bread and butter of what the Chamber of Commerce hopes to generate through our efforts. New services and key new industries help us grow. Each of our top three nominees in the category, Faith Family Church, Hamilton Financial Services, and Scooters Coffee, have provided valuable services to Shelby County. As these businesses mature, we are blessed that they choose us to partner. This year's winner of the new Chamber Member of the Year is one of those businesses with a burning desire to succeed. This is one of those dream come true businesses that you hear about, those success stories. Scooter's Coffee has been a wonderful addition to Shelby County. When Hannah and Mark first introduced their new venture on social media, they said, we look forward to serving our neighbors. And they have done just that. Thank you, Hannah and Mark. And we are proud to present you the new Chamber Business of the Year Award. Some of the words that were used to describe 
This individual, in the multiple nomination letters we received, included words like leader, selflessness, giving, kindness, and compassion. Due to her diligence and hard work, planning and organizational skills, fundraising efforts, educating, and advocating for the Alzheimer's Association. We're very proud to present this year's Citizen of the Year Award to Leslie Beelan. Yeah, 
the Franklin half dollars? Okay, my little money. Let's no, let's back to the real silver.
600, 600, and now 50, now 50. You want to hit him off the pass and give him about a thousand bucks? I got 600, 650, better be water. That's 600 now, but 600 in the bottom of the on the back now, but 600 now, but the bottom of the air, but the air, but right here at 600. You got it. Now seven, now seven. Good enough.
Thank you. 
Because you're number 188, correct? Thank you so much. 